also beaters coming off the roof. It's three phase. <clears throat> I think it's two and a half horsepower. Got a new one going in. I'm going to get rid of all this wood. Crane's going to sit up over there. And hopefully he can get in. And at least get me up here somewhere so we can get it over. And then we'll do a little repipe and a in a wire and then we'll we'll get downstairs and I'll show you all the downstairs stuff. So that's it. Little morning views. That goes to a big bigger walking box on that side. We got all the solar up here. Yeah, it's that kind of morning. It's so foggy it's wet. See? We got them to pull in right there. <clears throat> and then we'll do our thing here. Insane in the crane brain. Insane in the crane. Dog, old dog house. New unit's gonna be an outdoor unit like this one. Old one's going in the truck for the recycler. I'm all breathing heavy, I'm all fired up. Fired up for work. How sick is that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm all fired up for work. Woohoo! <laughs> Can't even tell I'm smiling. Uh, good stuff, good stuff. Look, my mask is getting dirty. Mask of Titus. All right, so this is the job. It's going to be the flower box that used to be the produce box. This is the new condensing unit. It has a recip, not a scroll. Uh,. I got my holding charge in there from Saturday. It's still good. Today is Wednesday, so we got a nice tight system here. And I need to pull a vacuum on it. We did get a new breaker down there, so let's see. Should have my I should have good voltage to the top of the disconnect here. It's three phase. We're gonna check it real quick. All right, I was checking my voltage, and this system here also has stinger leg. So if leg number one is our stinger leg. If I can get it on the ground. Let's see if I'm in my ground or not. Yeah, okay. Leg number one. 214. 122. And then we should be 122 here also. Yep, 122 there too. So we got 240 volts across each leg, leg to leg. I can show you guys that too. Let me zoom in. So if I go leg to leg. Forty-four, two forty-five. So we're good there. I don't know if this little one tenner has power. Let's check it. We'll give it a see. So pulling the vacuum one hose off the receiver had the scab power. The one ten plug here is no bueno. And my micron gauge is going. F you, Dave. I put some alcohol in there and trying to clean it out and stuff. Bunch of leftover nylog and stuff on there, but just tell me I got oil on the center. I'll see if I can get this tidied up because I, I need to go downstairs and turn the, the fans on and the solenoid valve. So uh, let's go down and do that while we're evacuating up our here. box. Unit's up there on the roof that way. And uh, I got one light bulb working. So let's plug this in. Uh, that fan motor and fan blade was bad. I had to replace it. I do got it labeled for the 404. I cleaned it up. We haven't decided what we're going to do with the condensate yet. Might just drain it to a bucket for now. We need to get the J421 on here. Time delay of three minutes. And it 
64 degrees in here, which isn't bad. You get it cleaned up. I tried to clean the uh, the little micro vac gauge with alcohol and stuff. She's just not coming around. She's not happy today. She's all I got oil, but I pulled out the old uh, the old faithful VG 64. We'll see how we make out. But this old timer. Yeah, we'll see how we do. She's old as the hills. And we'll see how we make out. I was reading this. I always tell you guys to read the, as much information as you can. So I thought this was good. Number three. Check equipment catalog of refrigerant capacity. System refrigerant capacity is 90% of receiver capacity. Do not add more refrigerant than the data tag indicates unless you have a line run that exceeds 25 feet. Then additional refrigerant as per the chart on page 30 when the refrigerant. So my receiver is 4.6 pounds. So it says I could go 90% of 4.6 pounds unless my line set's longer and I could go to page 30 for the chart to add gas. Great. My page stops at page 23. I don't have a page 30. I just thought that was funny if you guys get into that. Roughly, we used to call those a nine pound receiver. We got the headmaster control over there. This line runs more than 25 feet. I know that for sure. But it's getting me in the ballpark that's not going to take a bunch of gas to charge the system up. So uh, the microns are coming down. 1750 we still got a ways to go and then we uh we'll weigh our charge in and see where we end up at if you are charging the system by using the clear sight glass as an indication of a proper charge the following must be considered check the condensing temperature it must be above 105 if not it will be necessary to reduce the amount of air going through the condenser i lost my spot because i'm reading on the phone can answer from the f f with the fan still running simply reduce the effect of the condenser face you know put some cardboard over it to raise the discharge pressure above the equivalent of 105 condensing temperature and then proceed charging to his clear sight glass adjust evaporator superheat at this time run to a full condenser face area and allow the system to balance so if you want to just clear the sight glass for your charge, you know, you got to cover up your condenser to make sure you're, you're over 105 condensing, which on a day like I'm having today, you would definitely have to put some cardboard over it. So that's the other way of doing it. All the stuff you can learn if you just read the book. You know, I'm always give, trying to give heads up. I ain't no super tech. I'm gonna weigh in four pounds into the receiver here. I'll just do a four banger. I'll get to four pounds. I will fire it up and see what it looks like. Pressure switch. This uh, condenser unit does have micro channel condenser. They've been doing it for a long time on these little refrigeration units. There she is, four banger. But that's it for a sec. Let me get my amp probe. All right, let's see if anything happens. There she goes. Starting up, the box is about 65 degrees downstairs.
get rid of the old pump down and see where the pressure switch cuts out and cuts in at. See where our cutout is. Fifteen. And we'll see where our cut in is. Actually, it was cutting out about nine. I'm going to change that up a little bit. Hold on. All right. Let's see where we cut off out at now. I adjusted our pressure switch. Here she comes. live with that that's not too shabby right around seven and our cut in should be somewhere as close to 25 to 30 18 cardboard that came with the jug and by how much of the coil you block off and open you can set it where it's above 105 and inching and I got it man, dialed right in at like 106 I got my sight glass cleared up and I'm at like about four pounds 13 ounces to make up for my line set my receiver is 4.6, so I'm, I'm about right in there, right there. And four pounds, 13 ounces. And I need to let the box pull down and still set my superheat on uh, my TXV. Which I think if we're over 105, we can see what our superheat's doing at our TXV right now. All right, there's a shot her on the roof. Line set was nothing special this time. This basic, basic line set, basic electrical, basic unit. high at like 16 but that's going to come down as the box pulls down too so i'm going to let it run for now and then um, i'll come back and do a recheck on it 